Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of EverQuest 2. And on this episode, I am here with Kevin. Hey guys. And we're fighting over in uh, Tamor's Deep, right? Yeah, Tamor's Deep. The uh, kind of a new starting area for uh, the evil races. Or if you're neutral, you can start here as well. And uh, basically, we've been running around on our little uh, alts, our little tunes here. And I'm a level 9 Fury. And Kevin, you're a level what? Not? I'm a level 9 Berserker. Okay. And so basically, it's a pretty good combination. He's the tank, I'm the healer. We haven't really had to fall into those roles just yet because, as I said, it's a newbie area. So pretty much uh, we can both melee, cast a few spells here and there, and then the creature's dead. Uh, the, the creatures will get harder and harder as you progress further into the zone. And I'm looking forward to that, too. I'm looking forward to when the game gets more intense and more harder. And you actually do have to heal me while I go in there and stomp. Yeah, it won't be too long before we have to do that. Around level 10 or level 15, uh, we'll get to a new area. And that area over there actually has uh, little camps that you can kind of, uh, you know, go around and just kill the creatures there. Uh, it's actually really cool. I think you'll enjoy that quite a bit. I'm looking forward to it. Hey, but, so now you've been playing the game for a while. Is the Sarnak, is that a recent addition? Or have uh, they been in the game for a while? They've been in the game for a while. I mean, uh, I think it was four or five expansions back. You know, okay. so. Alright, so that is a considerable amount of time. Yeah, but I mean, when you first started playing the game, when it first came out, they weren't here. It was something they added, you know, after a few expansions. And they did a pretty good job with it. Everybody over here seems to have, or not everybody, but close to everybody seems to have uh, voice acting already programmed into them. So that's, uh, it definitely immerses you more into the video game than, than any of the other guys usually do, so. Now, it seems to me that I remember when I first started playing EQ2 back in the day, 2004, is that you either started in Freeport or Kanos? Yeah, you know, Kanos or Freeport. Uh, I believe you could start in other cities as well, like Hollis and stuff like that. But you had to do a Betrayer Quest if you wanted to be a... Uh, if you wanted to be a bad guy, but you wanted to play a good race, you had to do a Betrayer Quest? To start off in Freeport or something like that. Do you remember that? Yeah, it's still there. You can still do that betrayer quest. It's it's actually gotten a lot easier from what I've heard. Uh, well, hold on. Let me let me uh, initiate conversation here, and then I'll we'll get into that okay. as, as as the quest goes on. Did you get the glyph? Uh, yes, I did. Good work. Decoding this shouldn't take very long now that we have this. All right. This isn't good. The Warrens are plotting a full-scale attack on Tholwyn Station East. Uh, it may have already happened. I need you to report to Tertiary Dihar. You can find him above Piran Rus, the Warren village to our west. At the western end of Piran Rus, there are ladders set up that will enable you to scale the wall up to Tholwyn Station East. Climbing these ladders will lead you to Tertiary Dihar. Uh, I will go find him. Uh, war, level 8. We end up getting at least 2 silver, 17 copper. Uh, we're going to hit accept. Fallen Station needs our help. Be strong. I will see about sending further reinforcements in your wake. All right. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they, they made it a little bit easier for people, people to do that Betrayer quest if they really, really want to. Although, I have heard uh, mixed reports on whether you get to keep your class. You know, if you uh, are playing a paladin, and you're, uh, you know, obviously a good character, a good class, and you switch over to, you know, dark elves or something like that from Freeport, uh, I've heard some people say that it actually makes you a shadow knight instead. But uh, that would kind of defeat the purpose of doing that, in my of opinion. Being a paladin, yeah, I agree yeah. with that. Uh. Let's see, where are we going, anyways? But now I don't know if you, you probably know who Dritz Duerden is, right? The, the dark elf ranger from. Dungeons and Dragons, right? And he was—he was a dark elf, but he was a good ranger. So, hold on a sec. I'm still looking for. Him. Do you see it on the map? Uh, no, I don't see it. It's tertiary. Um, Perrin Roost. Okay, I see that. Right over here. Okay, now I see. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. Just gotta pay attention to what the NPCs are telling you to do. That's one uh, doesn't show up on the map. Uh, not all the quests will, and that's kind of why I make these videos because sometimes 
uh, they will kind of lead you by the nose and show you what you need to do. Other times they just kind of say, go do this and you have to figure it out for yourself. So I've already done all these quests on several different one of my, uh, my characters in the past, but it has been several years since I've come back to play it, so I do kind of have to refresh myself on, you know, where certain things are. Shiny. Right. <laughs> I'll take that. Let's see, so we can walk up this little path right here. You see it's kind of camouflaged as a rock, but if you come around the side of it, you'll see it almost has a little road cut out. There's a place in uh, Cobalt Scar in the original EverQuest that reminds me of this right here. It's also camouflaged into the side of the mountain. Right. One of my favorite zones, Cobalt Scar. I love that zone. It's been a long, long time since I've been there. I used to go quad kiting there with my druid. <laughs> See, I never got that good at uh, kiting to be able to do four or five at one time. That be, that would be something right there. That's an achievement. Yeah, it's it's a, it's an adrenaline rush when you do it. It really is. But you got to have you know like clarity or something, right? Yeah, I always had uh, Kodiak's in, endless intellect. Right. I would go play a hundred plat uh, for the spell, but in an hour I'd make like two or three thousand plat or something like that from the gems that they would sell. Yeah, it was good money. That's crazy. So many quests around here. Did you see those two guys down there? Yeah, like I said before, they kind of push you off in the right direction. You know, and saying, oh, okay, here's the new area that, that we want you to hunt in. And you run past all these guys so that you see that there's quests available. So now, I know that this is not a completionist game or a game that you can complete, but are you a completionist? I try to be in any one of the places that I could, you know, possibly uh, do it. Now, there are games out there that... I would like to complete that I know I never will, like uh, Fallout, uh, when you get all the little Coke bottles and uh, yeah, yeah. Assassin's Creed, where you had to go get like every single one of the flags. I love trying to do that, but unfortunately, I don't always have you know 90 hours to dedicate just to getting flags. Right. Uh, like it was in that one. That one, if they make it too ridiculous on the time scale of what you need, uh, I'm not always able to do all of it, but I try at least. I'm the same way. I like to complete a game if I'm able to complete it. I am a completionist. Yeah. I mean, I think everybody is a little bit. Let's see what he has to say. Speak swiftly. Uh, secondary Sky Kai told me to speak with you. Good. Then they must be aware of our plight. Five silver, four copper. See, I only got three silver, 15 copper. <laughs> so you see, he's, well, constantly, <laughs> he's constantly getting more money than we do. And I think it's because he's pure evil, where I am right down the middle is neutral. Uh, other than that, I, we can't really see if there's any difference between us, other than my guy looks really, really good, and uh, not so much with his, but... <laughs> just kidding. I mean, look at me, it just takes more money to feed me. Right. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not paying for that, that's crazy. Dude is huge, man. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, end the episode here, guys. Again, we want to thank you for watching. If you do like these videos, uh, please hit the like button and subscribe. Definitely helps grow our channel, and I greatly appreciate it. And uh, we'll catch you on the next episode. Subscribe.